Hi, this is Congressman Kwesi Mfume of Maryland, here today in a special way to say congratulations to the League of Women Voters as you celebrate your 100th anniversary and to join you in the commemoration of the passage of the right to vote for women in 1920, one of the most significant amendments to the Constitution. I continue to say everywhere I go about this franchise that we call voting, that people who do not vote have no line of credit with the people who are elected and therefore they pose no threat to those who act daily against their interests. Thank goodness the League of Women Voters acts in the best interest of all Americans by getting us to exercise our constitutional right of casting a ballot. Your work is so very, very precious to all that we hold true and dear to our democracy. Thank you and happy anniversary. Hello, I'm Congressman Brendan Boyle of Philadelphia. I want to wish everyone involved with the League of Women Voters a very happy centennial. Actually, it's two important centennials we're celebrating. First, the League of Women Voters itself on your 100th birthday, but also, of course, the 100th anniversary of the adoption of the 19th Amendment. For a century now, the League of Women Voters has played such an important role in our society at election time, but also uh, 12 months of the year, 365 days a year. I also believe the League of Women Voters, as it enters its second century now, is just as important in this century as it was in the last. We see all around us inequities in society that need to be addressed. I'm so proud of my affiliation with the League of Women Voters. Every single forum that the League of Women Voters has held over the years, uh, I've attended to make sure that people get the information that they need from their elected officials and candidates. No other group plays the role that the League of Women Voters does. So happy 100th. Hello. I'm Congressmember Judy Chu, and I'm so happy to be celebrating the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment and the League of Women Voters. It's amazing to think that women have only had the right to vote for 100 years in America, but with the 19th Amendment and the incredible efforts by the League of Women Voters to teach civic engagement, so much has changed. Since then, women have been organizing and getting involved in numbers never seen before. And in 2018, more women across this nation than ever decided that they wanted to be heard and took the next step to choose to run for Congress. And today, thanks to their hard work, we have 130 elected women in Congress, the highest number in history. In the relatively short amount of time that women have had the right to vote in America, women leaders have been at the forefront of progress in our government. On everything from civil rights to health care to education, women have made sure that our priorities were included. But this is still just the beginning. We need to ensure everyone's voice is heard by continuing to protect the right to vote with a new and approved Voting Rights Act. And of course, the right to vote is only as powerful as those who use it. So thank you to the League of Women Voters for continuing to ensure that we have engaged voters and for all that you do to ensure that everyone has a voice in the voting booth. Hey there, this is Congresswoman Abby Finkenauer from Iowa's first congressional district and so happy to join you to celebrate 100 years since women have had the right to vote and the passage of the 19th Amendment. Uh, I still remember actually when I was 24 running for state house for the first time in Iowa and I had just voted with my name on that ballot and walked back down to my house and passed my great grandmother's house where she grew up. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, she was born in 1906 before women had the right to vote. And I'm sure she never dreamt that her great granddaughter one day would have her name on the ballot herself. So yes, we have a lot more to do. I am happy though to be one of the first women ever elected to Congress from Iowa and one of the first women ever elected in her 20s to Congress. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the work that the League does. I know we have much more work to do, but together we can get it done. Enjoy your conference. Hi everybody. The importance of voting has been ingrained in me since childhood. Whether or not I would participate in a given election was never a question. 
That in itself is a privilege. No one should have to choose between going to work or making it to their polling place on time. No one should be turned away because they don't have proper identification. And no one should be forced to choose between voting and their health and their safety, especially right now. A democracy for all means a democracy by all. The events of the past few months have shown us why the efforts of the League of Women Voters have continued for over 100 years. In the midst of a global pandemic, voting is both more complex and more important than ever. And leading the fight every day is your organization. Congratulations, and thank you for all you do. Hello, this is Congressman Jerry McNerney. I want to congratulate the League of Women Voters on its 100th year anniversary this year. We are commemorating the ratification of the 19th Amendment of this Constitution, which gives more than half of the people of this country the right to vote. And that right is so important because it helps direct this country into the future. We all want to be proud of what this country is and what it will become. And voting is so important to that. And so whether it's advocating for voting rights or advocating for education or holding forums or encouraging people to vote, the League of Women Voters has been a very positive and influential force in this country's history. Thank you and congratulations. Hi, this is Senator Sheldon Whitehouse congratulating the League of Women Voters on your 100th anniversary. That is wonderful and impressive. Uh, I go back to a distant cousin, Vera Boardman, White House, who led the New York Suffrage Society uh, back in that era. And you guys have done a terrific job from then through till now. I've participated in and watched your candidate debates I've seen your work in civic engagement. You have been a terrific force for our Disclose Act and for disclosure and honesty and transparency in government generally. So thank you, congratulations, and let's keep going. Hi, I'm Virginia Senator Mark Warner, and I want to congratulate the League of Women Voters on 100 years of service. League of Women Voters has been an incredibly important organization in the civic education and participation of our whole nation. Here in Virginia, your activities in terms of urging people to vote and participate in our society have led to extraordinarily significant changes. Medicaid expansion, debates about sensible gun laws, passage of the Equal Rights Amendment, and so many other items. This year, when we are confronting the COVID crisis, and the very challenge of staying safe and still exercising your constitutional right to vote is at stake, the League of Women Voters activities in terms of educating voters and urging voters to participate is more important than ever. So for 100 years of great service to your particular service this year in terms of urging people to register and vote, I say thank you as someone who is uh, benefited personally uh, from some of the challenges I've had at League of Women Voter debates. Uh, I say thank you as well. Keep up the great work. Congratulations on 100 years and to 100 years more of a stronger and more vibrant American democracy. Hi, it's Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, representative of New York's 21st Congressional District. I wanted to congratulate the League of Women Voters on their 100th anniversary. This year is the centennial of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, giving women across this country the right to vote. This is incredibly important and historic. Uh, I would not be in Congress today were it not for our amazing women suffragists who fought for our ability to vote in this country and make our voice heard. My district is home to Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who was born in Johnstown, New York. And we also have significant ties to Susan B. Anthony, who was a teacher in my district in Greenwich, New York. Congratulations on this historic achievement. Hi, it's Congressman Charlie Chris. I wanted to congratulate the League of Women Voters on your 100 years anniversary. What an incredible milestone that truly is. 
Uh, thanks to you, so many people have had the opportunity to express their right to vote. 1920 was an incredibly important year. You all made that happen, giving women the right to vote, and things have gotten better ever since. God bless you all, and congratulations again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Hi, this is Congressman Joe Morelli from New York's 25th District here in Rochester, New York, the uh, home of Susan B. Anthony, something we're incredibly proud of in this community, as well as the home of Frederick Douglass. And I want to take a moment, certainly, to congratulate the League of Women Voters on their 100th uh, anniversary. It's an amazing legacy. And also the uh, 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. In these difficult times when people are crying out for social and racial justice and equity, uh, it's so important that people cast their vote. I think we're coming up on arguably the most important election in nearly two centuries in American history. And it's more important than ever that people cast their vote to start a new direction for this country. So again, congratulations to the League of Women Voters uh, celebrating the 19th Amendment's ratification. And let's make sure we get every single American out to vote this year. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Shelley Pingree. 100 years ago, the 19th Amendment was passed, enfranchising many women across our country and leading to the founding of the League of Women Voters. After 70 years of grassroots activism from women across this country, women were finally able to express their views at the ballot box. As the first woman to hold my congressional seat, I know I would not be a member of Congress without the tireless work of suffragists who marched lobbied, advocated, and demanded the rights they deserve one century ago. I've been thinking of their work often during this Congress. As I serve with the highest number of female members of Congress in our nation's history. During this moment of national reckoning with systemic racism, it is important to note that not all women were given the right to vote in 1920. Black women in this country were not enfranchised in every state until the Voting Rights Act was passed in 1965. Native American women couldn't vote across our country until 1962. Right now, our nation is reckoning with the systemic racism that has perpetuated inequalities and violence against people of color in this country. We must solemnly remember the ongoing struggle of women of color across the country, who even today often have difficulty accessing the ballot box. And we must use the privilege we have to recognize disparities and uplift the voices of women of color in this country. Thank you for your activism and your principled stand that helps people across our country have access to the democratic institutions that are there to serve them. I'm proud to stand beside you in the fight to guarantee everyone the right to vote. Congratulations on a century of service. Hello, I'm Congressman Donald Payne Jr., proud representative of New Jersey's 10th District. It is a pleasure to join you to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the League of Women Voters. The League has played one of the most important roles in American history. After the 19th Amendment became law, millions of women were added to the voter rolls nationwide. Members of the League knew women needed to understand how to exercise this new right. They were the first ones to teach women how to vote and that voting makes a difference. And women have been making a difference at the ballot box ever since. So congratulations to the League of Women Voters. Your legacy has helped shape American politics and society for the better. Thank you. Hi, I'm Congressman Jim Cooper from Tennessee. One of the greatest things that's ever happened in all of Tennessee history was when a little known state representative named Harry T. Byrne changed his mind from no to yes and followed his mother's advice to vote for the 19th Amendment, enabling Tennessee to be the 36th and final state to allow the 19th Amendment to be ratified. Thank goodness for the 19th Amendment and thank goodness for Harry T. Byrne following his mother's advice. Hey folks, it's Senator Doug Jones from the great state of Alabama here. I want to not only wish the League of Women Voters a happy 100th birthday, but also the 19th Amendment, a happy, happy 100th birthday. You know, the right to vote is perhaps the most powerful right that we have in America. 
And it was a long, arduous fight for women to achieve that right 100 years ago. This movement was one that took decades, but it's thanks to the persistence and grit of so many women who were willing to go against the grain, to stand up for what they knew to be the right thing, that the movement had the success it had and has had over the years the great impact it has had. In November 1920, uh, 1920, after the passage, some 8 million women went to the polls to vote to make their voices heard. And today, those voices are still being heard. So thank you for all that you've done. I know that where we are right now was born out of a long and contentious fight. And so often that happens when one group fights for the rights that they deserve. We're seeing that play out today. But I'm hearkened by the fact that so many people see what is happening in America today as a voice of change, the same change that the women's suffrage movement led earlier in a century ago. We're seeing that movement across America for systemic change, and that is going to engender the right to vote. It's going to get more people. I am convinced it's going to get more people uh, out to vote. I wish things were different in the country in the sense that with the COVID crisis and pandemic, we can't get out and knock on the doors and do the kind of things that we should be doing to get ready for whatever elections are this summer and the fall. But rest assured, I know that the League of Women Voters is going to be there making forth every effort to do whatever you can to know the issues, to make sure people get engaged and stay engaged. I appreciate all you've done. And I hope you have a great conference and wish you the best of happiest birthdays on your 100th anniversary. Thank you. This is Congressman Sarbanes. I want to congratulate the League of Women Voters on 100 years. That's an incredible milestone to hit. Uh, congratulations for that achievement. Of course, this is the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote in this country and set the table for many historic achievements since then. I also want to thank the League for working so closely with me on democracy reform. Uh, when we rolled out H.R. 1, the For the People Act, which is designed to lift up the voices of everyday Americans and ensure that they have the right to vote, the League of Women Voters was right there by our side, championing this reform and advocating for the change that it seeks. So again, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone in the life of the League of Women Voters. And thank you for the great work that you do for our country. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Grace Mang from Queens, New York. I'm honored and thrilled to wish the League of Women Voters a happy centennial birthday. I'm so proud of the League's work as it has been a vanguard for our democracy during these last 100 years. What a momentous celebration this is, as we also mark the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment ratification. The 19th Amendment made possible the single largest extension of voting rights in U.S. history by enfranchising 27 million American women. This celebration comes at a critical juncture in our nation because the battle for access to the ballot box has never been more urgent. Across the nation, we're witnessing efforts to disenfranchise voters from accessing the ballot box. This cannot be. The ability to vote ultimately determines whether we are truly a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Ever since the League of Women Voters was founded 100 years ago, it's been at the forefront of helping millions of women harness the power of civic engagement and uplifting their voices at the ballot box and beyond. The League has always been a key player to creating a more perfect democracy. Here's to the League's next 100 years. I wish you all a wonderful biennial convention and remember to stay safe. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Bill Foster. I'm a scientist and businessman, and I'm proud to represent the 11th Congressional District of Illinois in the United States Congress. And I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for inviting me to be part of your virtual convention. These are unprecedented times for our nation, and I'm sure you will all join me in keeping in our thoughts all of those who've lost loved ones to this deadly pandemic. 
and in these uncertain times, the work that you are doing to encourage people to get involved in shaping their government could not be more important. At the core of what it means to be a citizen of our democracy is exercising the right to vote, to choose our leaders, and then assemble and peacefully petition those leaders for redress of their grievances. For a hundred years, the League of Women Voters has been working tirelessly to encourage all people to vote, no matter what their political party or their situation in life, and to fight against all forms of disenfranchisement. For a hundred years of work that has undoubtedly made our nation much stronger and more inclusive, thank you all. You should all be very proud of the legacy that you carry forward today, but your work is not done. Now more than ever, we need to engage all of our citizens if we're going to tackle the complex issues of our time. We the people have to take ownership and use the power of our voices and our votes as we affect the change we seek for our nation. The League of Women Voters puts this into action each and every day, and we have stronger communities because of it. So congratulations on a century of great work, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with you in the centuries to come. Thank you. Hello, this is Congressman Mark Takano. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the League of Women Voters, and also the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment to our Constitution. 100 years ago, women fought for their right to vote and paved the way for more equality in America's democracy. But the fight for equality is not over because historically, America has struggled uh, to provide fair elections to black Americans and other minorities. Uh, Impediments to voting, such as uh, long waiting lines, too few voting places, cumbersome registration procedures, uh, all are persistent obstacles uh, to accessing uh, the ballot box. We need to call these obstacles what they are, voter suppression. And as our country fights uh, and confronts a, a pandemic, uh, increasing numbers of voters are going to rely on the mail-in ballot uh, in deference to uh, social distancing guidelines. We need to make sure that every American can safely, safely access uh, the ballot box uh, this November. So I want to thank you for your efforts to protect the right to vote. We need to stay vigilant uh, until uh, the right to vote is guaranteed for every American. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dina Titus from Nevada's first district in the heart of Las Vegas. It's an honor to address your virtual convention and congratulate the League of Women Voters on your 100th anniversary. It also coincides with the ratification of the 19th Amendment. I'm speaking to you from my home in Nevada, where in January, we became the first state in our nation's history to seat a majority female legislature. I'm mindful that this progress would not have been possible without the struggle of the suffragettes and the work of the League of Women Voters. As our nation wages a battle against injustice and inequality, we need your help now more than ever, empowering all citizens to play a role in creating a more perfect union. Earlier this month, we saw unacceptable waiting times at polling places across this country. That's just a reminder of the work we still have to do to ensure easy and safe access to the ballot box. And I'm very grateful to have the League of Women Voters in our corner. So thank you for all that you continue to do. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Congressman Ami Barrett from California's 7th Congressional District, Sacramento County. Um, I want to congratulate the League of Women Voters for 100 years of doing phenomenal work and also commemorate the, the 100 years since the 1920 passage of the 19th Amendment. You know, the, the right to vote is one of our most sacred um, um, rights. And in our democracy, if you don't vote, 
you don't um, have a voice. So the work that the league does in making sure um, women vote, but everyone votes and promotes our democracy is incredibly important. Again, thank you for the work that you do serving our nation and serving um, all voters, particularly women voters. Again, um, thank you for 100 years of phenomenal service. Be safe, be well, um, thank you. Happy birthday, 100 years. You know, you look good for 100 years of League of Women Voters. Obviously, we know that our society runs best. We've got people coming together, learning about the issues and candidates, and then getting involved. Politics is not a spectator sport. And I'm not sure that there's been anybody over the last 100 years who's done a better job of carrying that message to the streets. So thank you and happy birthday. My name is Robin Kelly. I'm the Congresswoman from the 2nd Congressional District of Illinois. And I wanna congratulate the League of Women Voters for 100 years. That is just magnificent. And also a shout out to commemorate the 1920 ratification for the right for women to vote. The right to vote is so valuable. It allows each and every one of us to have a voice in how this country is run. So I hope people take advantage of that right and that vote so that you will have a voice. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Hi, I'm Congressman Ron Kine. I wanted to wish a happy 100th anniversary to the League of Women Voters. The League of Women Voters arose out of the effort for women's suffrage and the passage of the 19th Amendment. I'm especially proud that the state of Wisconsin was the very first state to ratify the 19th Amendment. But since then, the League has been much more than just voting rights. You've been one of the guardians of our democracy, one of the sentinels of our democratic institutions. I can't think of a more important time in our nation's history that we have a League of Women Voters out protecting some of our most cherished rights and privileges as citizens. But more work needs to be done. We have efforts for of voter suppression here in Wisconsin and other places around the country taking place. We need to be opening up those opportunities for full participation, not restricting them. So that role that the league plays and others will be more important in the future. And I look forward to working with you to ensure these most cherished rights are enjoyed by all of our citizens. Happy anniversary. Hello, I'm Congressman Al Lawson. I would like to congratulate the League of Women Voters on your 100th anniversary. Your hard work and dedication has been an incredible asset to our nation. It has been 101 years since the rat ratification of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. Today we have over 68 million women who participate in the election and 127 women are currently serving in Congress. A true democracy requires that all our votes are heard. The most powerful tool we have to share our voice is casting our ballot and exercising our right to vote. I would vote because it makes a difference in the lives of people in our community and throughout the world. Again, congratulations, and I wish you Godspeed. Hi, I'm David Trone, Congressman from Maryland's 6th District. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the League of Women Voters and ratification of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. Congratulations to the League of Women Voters on this achievement. Now more than ever, civic engagement and involvement in our government is critical to the success of our nation. 100 years ago, women and men marched together to fight for suffrage so women could have the right to vote. Today, we see people marching to fight for equality and against the injustices that still exist in our society today. We all need to celebrate the progress we've made while recognizing we still have a long way to go to reach equality for all people. Thank you to League of Women Voters for always being active members of our civic society and working to make sure we get all the people out to vote and exercise their place in our democracy. Thank you. Hi, this is Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, and I'm saying happy birthday to the League of Women Voters, 100 years old. It's really amazing to think of all that we as women have accomplished in the last 100 years, but also all of the things we have yet to accomplish. 
I'm so thankful that the League is out there inspiring women to get involved in civic engagement. Uh, I know the League has been wonderful at some of the debates that I had during my election, getting engaged on a grassroots level to really make sure that our democracy is healthy and thriving. And we need you more than ever right now. So thanks to the League of Women Voters, happy 100th anniversary and congratulations. Hi, I'm Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and I want to send my congratulations to the League of Women Voters on their 100th anniversary. As we commemorate the 1920 ratification of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote, this is another reason to celebrate. The right to vote is a sacred right that is the heart of our democracy. It gives each of us a voice in our government and a role in building a brighter future. Happy anniversary, League of Women Voters. Here's to the next 100 years. Hi, this is Congressman Jerry Conley, and I want to congratulate the League of Women Voters on the 100th anniversary. I can't believe time has flown by. The work of the League has been so consequential in building civic life in America in engaging citizens in their political process, in educating people about their choices uh, every election cycle. And of course, in addition to that, the League's done a great job of hosting forums, debates, and other kinds of public events to inform the public, to share views and perspectives in a nonpartisan, objective way. I know as a candidate, as a elected official uh, of the last 25 years, I've partnered with the League in all of those endeavors and I've benefited from them. So have my citizens. So thank you for what you do. Keep doing it because we need more help than ever in that education process and in expanding the franchise. Congratulations, League of Women Voters. Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Mike Enzi from Wyoming home to the first woman to vote in the entire nation. Wyoming is proud to have led the way for women's right to vote 50 years before the 19th Amendment. Congratulations to the League of Women Voters for 100 years of hard work and all the progress you've made. Keep up the good work. Hi, this is Congressman Juan Vargas. On behalf of California's 51st District, I would like to congratulate the League of Women Voters on its centennial celebration Thank you for encouraging the active involvement and civic engagement of all of our citizens. Voting is an essential American right. This year, we celebrate 100 years since the triumph of women's suffrage movement. It is important that we honor those who continue fighting for voting rights and those working to ensure that every citizen participates in our elections. For 100 years, the League has made an impact by inspiring women to get out and participate in our democracy. Thank you for all the work you do for California's 51st District and for our nation. I wish you 100 more years of success.